I don't know what's going on. It's like this lady is haunting me in my dreams. All I see is a wig, pearls, and being 25 to O. Oh. Wigs, pearls, and being 25 to the O. Oh. Now, I see something that come across my email where you guys are saying, Anton, she's specifically being criminally investigated, and that's what one of these subpoenas is for. I said, okay, well, let's react to it in person. Let's react to it together, all right? Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Before we get into that, though, I want to keep you guys informed on what was going on the previous day because I know some, te some people miss the show and they're not on top of it like they should be. So the law firm that was representing Dalton and Tiffany Hanyard in all of these cases is saying they're not being paid. It's so much money. It's so many things and default judgments that's coming. They had to pull out. So I want to remind you of what we're dealing with before we start dealing with it, okay? Investigates has new information on a wide ranging FBI investigation in the South suburbs. It involves the two governments run by Tiffany Henyard. We've learned agents served several subpoenas at the Thornton Township building on Friday. A source says they sought township financial and employment records, as well as specific information about people close to Supervisor Henyard. The subpoenas were delivered one week to the day after the FBI paid a similar visit to Dalton Village Hall, where Henyard is the mayor. Also today, Dalton's village attorney now says he'll no longer defend Dalton in nearly two dozen lawsuits, including those involving police shootings and jail suicides. It comes as Mayor Tiffany Henyard continues to battle against a majority of trustees over everything from spending to transparency and allegations that she retaliates against her opponents. The trustees have refused to approve the payment of some bills. Attorney Michael Delgaldo acts as the village attorney there. He's now written this letter to Mayor Henyard and trustees that reads in part, we are, of course, not required to work for free and decline to do so. <laughs> he went on to say no one wants to represent the village. He then warned the village may owe more than $20 million in excess of insurance policy limits. That's, that, 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 that's a lot. That's a lot. A neon cube, I'm going to need you to go ahead and bring yourself to the front of the congregation. We literally just covered that in the last segment. Y'all going to have to start joining the live stream on time. Are y'all not getting y'all notifications? Did y'all got y'all got y'all subscribe and y'all notifications on? Come on, man. We literally just covered that in the last segment. They said, listen, we're not working for free. We got families to feed. I know you still want to be 25 to the O. But we got to be able to go in here and take care of business. All right. Now, now that you know that the actual law firms are quitting and the people that are representing Dalton and Tiffany Henyard in these cases are starting to quit. They said, listen, we can't keep taking care of business. We got to be a little bit more careful in how we leverage in our resources. That's what happened yesterday. That's what we covered. All right. Uh, in addition to that, this is now. The latest news on Tiffany Henyard and Dalton. Check it out. Fox 32 has obtained copies of the two federal subpoenas served on Thornton Township on Friday. And there are two big takeaways. Tiffany Henyard is clearly a target of the criminal investigation. And that investigation is growing. Overall, it tells me that the investigation is expanding. It's not just focusing on the city of Dalton. Former FBI agent Ross Rice says the subpoenas revealed the burgeoning scope of the federal criminal investigation into Thornton Township Supervisor and Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. One subpoena focuses entirely on Henyard, including two businesses she owns, a restaurant and a property management. Oh, we didn't know anything about this. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tiffany Henyard owns a restaurant and a property management company? Who is Aisha Properties? Who is Aisha? Aisha, you are the girl that I never had. Who is Aisha? Friends of Tiffany Henyard and Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation. Let me rewind and make sure I got that correct. Entirely on Henyard, including two businesses she investigation into Thornton Township Supervisor and Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. 
One Sabina focuses entirely on Henyard, including two businesses she owns, a restaurant and a property management company, as well as Henyard's political fund and the charity bearing her name. It asks for all records, including personnel files, wage and tax statements, mm. time and attendance, mm. records of work performed, mm. contracts, and checks written to cash. Oh, we. When you start deep diving into the money, I'm telling you, oh my God. When you start diving into the money, that's when you know you messed up. Because the paper trail tells everything. The paper trail is the thing that's going to get you jammed up. All of that tough talking, all of that, that goes out the drain when you start to dive into the wage and taxes. If you ain't got your stuff up to date, you got you a little PPP loan out there somewhere, it's going to come back to bite you. If I'm people that's around her, I'm getting the heck out of Dodge. I'm quitting. I'm getting out the way. I'm not having no more conversations. I'm not getting into it. I'm I'm getting the heck out of Dodge. The mayor and the township supervisor, who are one and the same, appear to be the primary focus of the investigation. Hmm. The second subpoena requests a kitchen sink of township records, including financial reports, budgets, hmm. payroll records, and ordinances covering credit card purchases, hmm. expense reimbursements, security details, and the use of vehicles. Jesus. Mayor Officer Young put in for 303 water, hours in a two-week like period. Three Ain't no way in the world I would have been out there walking with the news. If the news is walking with you and they trying to get, give me a poo shiesty mask. I don't want to be identified. I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to be associated with it. I'm out of there. Three hours. Fox 32 has reported extensively about Henyard's use of a police security detail, which police say has hampered their ability to fight crime. You need security to protect you from questions from reporters? The subpoena also asks for payments and credit card expenditures for a number of township employees, including Henyard's top lieutenant, Keith Freeman, some township trustees, and Henyard's boyfriend, who runs the township's youth violence prevention program. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Who was the boyfriend? Hey y'all, this is Mayor Tiffany Henry, Supervisor Henry, the people supervisor. The subpoena also focuses on township travel, including a story first reported by Fox 32 and the Illinois Answers Project about a trip Henyard took to Springfield in 2022 with Dalton and Thornton Township employees, ostensibly to raise money for a cancer charity in her name. We wondered who was paying for all of this, and so are the feds, who ask for records of municipal resources being used on behalf of Friends of Tiffany Henyard, mm. political fund, and charitable organizations, including the Tiffany Cares Foundation, which involved a $10,000 donation of taxpayers' money made by the township. $10,000 donation of taxpayers' money made by the township. Oh, Jesus. You using taxpayer money in order to fund your Tiffany Cares Foundation organization? This is, ran, this is ran just like the Carter. This is ran just like the Carter. It's very broad in the scope. It's very broad in the number of people and entities they're asking uh, for records on. Um, so there must be some serious allegations of wrongdoing mm. that they're trying to get to the bottom yeah, the money. of. It's the second round of federal subpoenas. On April 20th, four FBI agents served a pair of subpoenas on the village of Dalton, asking for the personnel files of 29 employees. I was pleasantly surprised. Stephanie Wiedemann is a former township employee turned whistleblower who's been helping the FBI in its investigation. Mm. What do we want? Over the weekend, she took part in a rally of Thornton Township residents calling on Henyer to resign. Wiedemann says the latest subpoenas are a welcome sign. I hope that the township founds, finds a way to be able to recoup the damage that has been done. But I hope that the people that did the damage 
I mean, there's repercussions for making bad decisions. Through a spokesperson, Henyard declined to comment about the subpoenas. The township has until May 20th to turn over all those records to a federal grand jury that's been impaneled to investigate. You ain't even got to worry about it. We ain't got to worry about no more interviews. We ain't got to worry about Roland Martin. We ain't got to worry about Angela Yee. We ain't got to worry about nothing. Nothing. It's, this is over. This is just a matter of time. At this point, this is literally just a matter of time. This is over. I think she done, personally. I honestly believe that she done. When they start digging into the money and they get to that point, I think it's just really a waiting game. So, you know, I, I hope she got her ducks in a row. I hope she got her babysitter set up and all of that because she is about to be in a world of doo-doo. Gosh. You don't mess with the money, man. You just don't mess with the money at all. I feel sorry for uh, the people that surround her and her daughter and all of that stuff, but it's about to get real ugly. And I, and I have a feeling that we're not going to be done reporting on this. This is going to be a long, years-long content creation thing. I might make a million dollars off of Tiffany Henry, and I ain't even going to cap.